Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production professional. Come join me for another post-demonstration on Colour Me In. And today, yeah, we're going to be looking at a simple exercise, actually, but something I think is really quite um, important and powerful um, is the translation between AF and XML. Now, some of you may have worked in Avid and got stuck. Avid is playing up, it's not playing ball, it's not doing what you want. Some of the media uh, goes a bit weird, you try to delete the databases and you just can't get anything out of Avid. Avid is notorious for this. So on many, many, many occasions uh, in my career, I've decided to dispense with Avid <laughs> and um, uh, move the project into uh Premiere is like an emergency situation if you can't get anything that you need to get out of Avid. Um, so the way that we do that is that we have a sequence here and there's a few bits, there's logos, there is a bit of chat. Um, okay, so, and this is the um, sequence here. And I'm just gonna call this AAF to XML, okay? Highlight the sequence, right click, and we're gonna to go to output, and we're gonna to go to export to file. Now, uh, we just wanna choose location. I'm just gonna stick this on the desktop for now. I'm gonna create a folder, AF to XML. So if we now go to options, um, we want to find the AF on the drop-down menu, and we want to include all the video and all the audio, okay? And, but really important export method, we want to link to, don't export the media, okay? We're gonna to link to the files. We don't want to consolidate, we don't wanna copy the media, okay? We wanna leave it in one place. And because we're linking, we don't need to worry too much about the media destinations, okay? So hit save, and I've chosen my folder, and here we go. Good. Now if we go to the finder, we find that folder, and there we go, there is the AF. And it's quite small, you can see, because it's just metadata. Now, Premiere, of course, will import an AF, but generally I've found that it's be quite unstable. Um, so what I want to do is convert this to an XML and convert the media as well. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna do that in DaVinci Resolve. Um, DaVinci is a bit of a master at doing this. So in the master, I just wanna create a new bin. I'm gonna call the AF to XML. Click on the bin, file, import the timeline here. And let's navigate to the desktop. And there we go, there is the sequence. Don't worry too much about this setting here. One of 23 clips weren't found. Don't worry too much about that. We can sort that out in a moment. And here we go. So yeah, it's got an issue with the, the PNG. We can add that in later in Premiere, it's not a problem. And so I'll just uh, minimize that. And it's got an issue with a couple of the other graphics as well. But ultimately, we have our audio and we have our vision and we have our timeline, which is what we want. Great, so our AAF has come in relatively nicely actually to um, resolve. Now, we just wanna jump over to deliver now. We want to make sure that we've got the entire timeline selected here. Uh, I want to delete these others that I've used earlier. Um, at the very top, really handy little um, menu here. We just want to send it to uh, XML, Premier XML. We want to choose a location. I'm actually going to pop this in the same folder for now. Okay, and I'm just going to create a new bin in here. I'm going to call it Media. And we want this to be ProRes 422. Okay, everything else is the same. Do we want any handles? Yeah, yeah, we've got 50 frame handles on that clip as well. Good, so everything should come through nicely and it will generate the um, XML too because we're selecting this Premier XML parameter here. So we're just choosing the location, we've chosen the video codec settings, audio is gonna be linear PCM, and the files are gonna be a unique file name. It's, it's, it's all good, it's all good to go and we've got 50 frame handles. Add that to the render queue and go. So this is gonna render all the clips out with 50 frame handles top and tail, which is what we want. It's gonna convert the media from um, DNX HD 
2, ProRes 422, and it's going to deliver us a nice timeline as well uh, in an XML form, which we can then import nicely into Premiere. OK, we're done. If I minimize that, we go to the folder again. <clears throat> so there's the folder I created. You can see here are the clips, and there's the XML. OK, good. Now we jump into Premiere. Let's make a new bin in here. I'm going to call this XML import. Go into that folder, and we're going to import and find that XML. There it is. Here are the clips, there's the sequence from Resolve, and here we go. And you can see it's actually, um, the metadata tags, it's actually turned off those, those uh, or minimized those video layers again. So we just turn them on to see what it is. So we don't really have anything for those. So we can actually just, you know, let's just delete them, we don't need them. We can add them back in manually. That's a pretty simple thing to do. But ultimately the cut and the sequence has come through nicely with media that's now been converted to, if we have a look here, ProRes 422. Good. Well, looking great. So that's a very short demo of how to get a troublesome Avid sequence via an AAF via Resolve, convert it to ProRes 422, generate an XML and then import it into Premiere to help you try and get this, this production out. Um, this has happened to me many, 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 many times where Avid has caused a massive issue. There's a problem with the video file. You can't find out what the hell's going on. You've trashed the media databases and there's still a problem. Okay, so this is sort of a last ditch attempt to save your sequence in Avid. Okay, it doesn't always happen in Avid, but sometimes it does. And finally, what's really good about this, it'll do it in reverse as well. So if we just jump back into Resolve, we can see that here's our sequence and we've just rendered that back out. But what we can do is that we could actually send it, if you had a troublesome Premiere timeline, we could actually send it to Avid, okay? And we could do the same thing, but in reverse. We could send an XML into Resolve and generate an AF with DNX HD clips and import it into Avid. It works the other way around. So if you've got a troublesome Avid timeline or if you have a troublesome Premiere timeline, Resolve is the wonderful intermediate that will solve most of these problems. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. Great, see you next time. If you enjoyed that video, give me a like or subscribe. Put in the comments down below demos you'd like to see next. We'll catch you next time.